Hi everyone, I'm Ben from Salespace, and this is another weekly tech tip. Today's tech tip is about macros inside Zoho CRM. So you might be familiar with macros um, in other applications like Microsoft Excel, um, and the concept is the same. So the concept is we can automate repetitive tasks. Okay, so we'll have a look at how we do this inside Zoho CRM. Okay, so I'm inside the contacts module at the moment and I'll just select a record. And once I do that, you'll see this run macro button becomes available. So underneath that, we have the create and the manage macro buttons. Okay, so if we could click on uh, create macro, this will take us to our macro creation screen. And the macro we want to create today is a welcome uh, process. So in our process, uh, we want to send uh, a new client a welcome email. Uh, we want to update the start date on their record. And we also want to schedule a call um, for someone to give them a welcome call. Okay, so that's three steps um, that we can automate just using a macro, whereas otherwise we would have to do some of those steps manually. So let's call it welcome client. Process. So first action is an email template. So we'll select our welcome email. Okay, and then our next action is an update field. So here we'll choose our start date field. And we'll set that to be the date that the macro runs. And then task. client and welcome them okay oops it's bad status so we'll set it to not started until it's complete okay and then we'll create that macro okay so that's created now so now if we go back to contacts so let's assume uh, say Daffy and Minnie our new clients. So we'd like to run that macro, that welcome process for both of those clients. So we go over to run macro and we have our welcome client process now. So we can just click that and it will run. Okay, so it's just asking us to confirm. Okay. So that runs and it's all done. So you'll see the task got created there um, and the email sent. So that's a, a really handy little feature. Um, again, it's, it's simple automation. Um, it's not quite as advanced as using workflows, but if you don't need something as advanced as workflows, those macros are a good option. Okay, I hope that's been useful for you and I'll see you next time.